Okay, I'm back. Day eight, they're still in the sink. No one's jumped out yet, so that's a good thing. They are splashing like crazy, making one heck of a mess. Um, they're getting that much bigger to make that uh, enough of a difference for sure. And yeah, I need to get a deeper uh, transport if I'm gonna keep bathing them in the sink like this until I get them outside. But I think, I think we might have to do something else. I don't know. Um, <laughs> they're grooming beautifully and they seem happy and while uh, while they were sleeping earlier I realized that you know people need food too <laughs> so I took my once a month trip to the food store which I've been doing let's see I've only gone once a month so far I went the end of March I went the end of April and I decided to go today today is the 27th of May and because it's an ordeal, you know, wearing the mask and going through and staying away from people and it's just weird. It's really weird. And then coming back and I asked Mike, you know, do I need to hose down again? And he said, well, it can't hurt. So, you know, off come the clothes and I took my shower. So I took my shower before I decided to bathe the girls. Maybe I should have done it the other way around, but I didn't want to give them any germs because they're still babies. They're only eight days old. Although they're acting like, they're acting like preteens for sure. <laughs> and still really enjoying them. I'm wearing my awesome t-shirt, Pioneer Up Biatch, which was given to me by my friend, Sarah Collier, Nadine Collier's daughter. Nadine got me into doing puzzles. Right girls? So I, I have not been bored. If any of you out there are bored, oh, I would say get some ducklings, but not one duck. Remember, just to, don't get just one. But, um, uh, you know, learn something new. When people tell me they're bored, I just can't even get my head around it. It just makes no sense to me. You know, of course, taking on any new animals, I would suggest, you know, do your research and find out what you're, what you're in for. I pretty much knew what I was in for before I got these girls because I, I researched extensively for probably three months before I decided even to order them. Um, because you know, you wanna, you wanna be ready, you wanna do it right. As right as can be anyway. And again, right before I picked them up, I thought, oh my gosh, there are so many things I still don't know. And there are things that I still don't know. And I'm learning with, with these little girls. And every day they're gonna teach me something new. Right? Like one of you is definitely alpha and one of you is definitely the shy one. I think it's, I think it might be this little one right here. This, this little one. She's, she's the littlest and she's, she's pretty shy. And then I've got one who's very bold extremely bold so what else can I tell you ask me some questions I'll give you some answers as best as I can um, I guess I'll I'll let you watch the little birds for a little while longer before I take them back to their nice clean brooder with their toy hanging I heard that they like shiny things like mirrors or bells and so I went into the the bird section and found a couple cute little hangy things. I'm just going to start with one and see what they do with it. Happy little peepee -pee sounds.
right, well, that's it for their third bath. Thank you for watching. I hope you hit that subscribe button and share this with any of your friends who you think might enjoy it. And again, ask me questions. I'd be delighted to answer, answer them. There's my kitchen witch up there watching over everything. Everybody should have a kitchen witch. Stay well. Wash your hands. Bye.